In this video, I'm going to show you how you can actually adjust the preferences and see what files you actually want to store and sync to the cloud or not. So you can have lots of files in the cloud, but obviously if you've got great amounts up there, so particularly if you've got an education account or a work account with Google, um, they're unlimited in most cases. So you can store hundreds and hundreds of gigabytes of files up in the cloud and of course that will fill up your hard drive on your laptop or your, your desktop quite quickly. So what you can do on a Mac, the little Google icon up the top, you'll notice on a Windows based machine it's going to be down in the bottom right here somewhere. So in either place uh, the process is much the same. You'll click on the icon to open it up. You'll notice this is my work account so don't worry too much about that. The little three dots I can go into the settings and I want to look at the preferences in particular. When I go in there, you can do two options in your syncing option. So I can sync everything in my drive. So my drive for work's actually got 160 gigabytes of files in it. So it's got about 20 plus years of teaching plus personal photos and, and lots of things like that. So I don't want to sync all of those things onto my hard drive. So there's not much point having 160 gigabytes of stuff in three places. Some of the critical documents to me, yes, I do sync and stuff that I work with on a daily basis, I sync all the time. But things that I've archived and, and old photos, um, I tend to just have there as a safety mechanism. So you can actually sync all folders here, which is exactly the same as this option here. Or I can run through and just choose options that I want. So I've got stuff from an external hard drive that I've got material from. There's about 50 gigabytes of data there, so I don't want it just chocking up my hard drive and slowing everything down. So I don't actually sync that folder. So it's as easy as picking files that you do want to sync and files you don't want to sync. There's details about your account. Um, and finally, the last one is the advanced settings. So you can auto detect these things. If you have a slow connection, you can actually limit how much your upload and download or the syncing of Google Drive will take. So my um, a personal sort of internet at home is quite good generally so I don't worry about limiting it too much. The great advantage of syncing your stuff up and back is as soon as I get home from work the stuff that I've done through the day it's on my Windows PC at school it's also up in the cloud and as soon as I get home I turn my Mac on it looks up to the cloud and says oh look there's six files that I haven't got and it will bring them down and put them on the hard drive of my um, home machine and vice versa i'll do some work at night um, mark some exams or prepare an assignment or something like that i get to school the next day turn on my school based computer and very quickly those files have now been transferred down onto it so wherever i go the files tend to follow me if you're someone like a traveling salesman or someone who moves around a lot and you're constantly having trouble tracking down your data and you'd love to see this spreadsheet that you made yesterday but it's at work that thing should no longer be an issue to you so google drive will allow you to do those type of things with ease and your data follows you around and you should also always have the most recent version of a document with you so good luck with that sharing your settings again on a mac it's going to be up the top here on a windows based machine it's down in the bottom right here